Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number one, lecture discussion. Introduction to Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Objective, to provide a general orientation to the method of operation, the type of equipment, and the application of the gas tungsten arc welding process for pipe. The gas tungsten arc welding process is a gas shielded process that was originally developed for the welding of magnesium, aluminum, and stainless steel. Over the years, however, the applications have expanded to include welding and surfacing operations on practically all commercial metals. The purpose of this course is to explain the applications of the gas tungsten arc process for joining sections of pipe and tube. The demand for the gas tungsten arc process has increased significantly in the pipe joining industry. Primarily, this is because the process is capable of producing welds which are difficult to accomplish by other welding processes. The weld quality produced by this process is based on the method of operation. The gas tungsten arc process produces a weld by heating the metals to be joined with an electric arc using a non-consumable tungsten electrode. The filler metal is obtained from a filler rod which is added manually. The filler metal does not transfer across the arc which reduces the chance of weld spatter. The molten puddle is shielded by an inert shielding gas. Argon is most commonly used because of its good shielding characteristics and its relatively low cost as compared to other inert gases. The shielding gas eliminates the use of flux and the resulting chance of trapping slag in the weld deposit. Since very little spatter is associated with the process, and slag is not formed on the weld deposit. Little post-weld cleaning is required. This process can be used in all positions, which is another advantage when welding pipe in the 5G or 6G fixed positions. The arc and the weld pool are clearly visible to the welder, which enables a skilled welder to produce quality weld results through puddle control. The inside root reinforcement on a properly welded pipe joint is extremely smooth, which reduces turbulent flow of the substances carried by the pipe system. This is an important consideration in areas such as nuclear power plant systems. The equipment used for welding pipe is similar to that used for plate welding. Basically, the equipment consists of a power source, a welding torch with a tungsten electrode and a shielding gas system. The gas tungsten arc welding process utilizes a constant current power source. Typically the power source operates within a range of 5 to 300 amps and 10 to 35 volts at a 60 percent rated duty cycle. A 100 percent duty cycle is available on three phase machines. The power source is equipped with controls for setting the type of current and the amperage level. It can be motor generator or a transformer rectifier, the same as that used for shielded metal arc welding. These controls are usually sufficient when scratch starting or touching the electrode to the workpiece in order to initiate the arc. However, when welding alloy steels or non-ferrous metals, a remote control high frequency device is often used to avoid touching the electrode against the workpiece. When these power sources are equipped with high frequency, additional controls are required. Usually a high frequency switch and control and hot start are added to the power source to aid in starting the arc. With direct current, the high frequency control aids in arc starting by producing a high frequency current which bridges the gap between the electrode and the work. The arc is then started and the high frequency is extinguished. 
This enables the welder to start the arc without touching the electrode against the base metal. The hot start control supplies a surge of weld current at arc initiation in order to quickly stabilize the arc. A weld current remote control outlet is sometimes available on the power source for attaching a remote control device. When the remote control device is not being used, a plug called an energizer is used to complete the circuit. There are several different types of weld current remote controls for manual welding. One of these is a foot control, which activates the weld current, shielding gas flow, and cooling water flow when pressed. The foot control may also be equipped with a rheostat to vary the current during welding. Now, this type of control is commonly used on aluminum for cratering out. For this procedure, the weld current remote control switch must be on. Another type of remote control consists of a one or two button pendant which attaches directly to the handle of the torch. The one button control provides the same function as the foot pedal. Pushing the button once starts the welding current, gas flow, and cooling water. To stop the current, the button is pushed again. The two button control uses one button to initiate welding current and a second button to stop the current. These are just some of the controls available on gas tungsten arc welding machines. Other items could include upslope, pulse current, and post heat controls, which will be discussed in topic 16. The torches used for gas tungsten arc welding are either air-cooled or water-cooled. Air-cooled torches normally operate within a range of 0 to 200 amps. The torch is capable of transmitting welding current to the tungsten electrode located within the head of the torch. The torch also controls the flow of shielding gas around the electrode to the molten weld pool. Water-cooled torches operate in a range of 150 to 650 amps. These torches are slightly more complicated since water passages are incorporated within the torch to permit water flow. The gas nozzle is screwed onto the collet body of the torch. The inside diameter of the nozzle is often given with a number representing sixteenths of an inch. A number six nozzle would have an inside diameter of six sixteenths or three eighths inch. Normally, ceramic nozzles are used, but nozzles made of metal or glass are available. Glass nozzles are sometimes used to improve visibility of the weld pool. The electrodes used with the process are tungsten alloys, which have an approximate melting point of 6,170 degrees Fahrenheit and are used as the heat source that produces the puddle. When welding steel pipe, the 1% or 2% thoriated tungstens are usually used. The 2% is the most common since it provides better arc starting, arc stability, and higher current carrying capacity. The shielding gas used to weld steel pipe with the gas tungsten arc process is normally welding grade argon. One of the most common methods of storing argon is by a compressed gas cylinder. For high volume applications, a bulk storage system is used and the gas is piped to the individual welding stations. A flow meter and hoses are used to transmit the gases to the torch from the bulk storage system. A pressure regulator is required when the gas is supplied from a high pressure cylinder. The regulator reduces the pressure and provides constant gas flow. The flow meter is set by the welder to the desired amount for the job and is measured in cubic feet per hour. The gas lines from the flow meter can be connected to the torch in one of two ways. A gas line can be connected to the power source and a second line connects the power source to the torch. A solenoid located in the power source 
acts as an on-off switch to regulate gas flow. In the case of scratch starting, the solenoid is actuated by turning the power source on. When a well current remote control device is used, the solenoid is actuated to allow gas flow by pressing a button control on the torch or by a foot pedal. The gas hose may also be connected directly to the torch. In this manner, the gas is allowed to flow when the flow meter is set. Usually, a gas valve is located on the torch to allow the welder to turn on the shielding gas when ready to weld. The valve is then closed by the welder after post-purging. In this course, we will weld small diameter, medium wall, small diameter, thin wall, and medium diameter, medium wall thickness pipe. Two separate techniques are used to weld the pipe. For the small diameter, thin to medium thickness pipe, a freehand technique is used to deposit the weld. The welder positions and controls torch movement without steadying the torch against the pipe. On the medium diameter, medium thickness pipe, the nozzle is rested against the joint bevel and walked up the joint. This helps the welder with control of the molten puddle. Both techniques are commonly used in industry for welding steels in these pipe sizes.